Hello everyone, welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Today we are going to read the book, Where is the Dragon? This is by Leo Timmers and translated by James Brown. So on the cover of our book, we see knights with the silhouette of the dragon. And flipping over the book, we see a castle with the silhouette of a king. So let's open this book and see what it's about. The brave king scared to go to bed, a nightmare dragon fills his head. He sends his knights, one, two, and three, save the realm, but mainly me. So, look, the little king, well, it was supposed to be a brave king, but the brave king is scared, which seems strange. Well, he wants the three knights to go and find the dragon. So knight three is holding the ca uh, candle, knight two is holding the axe, knight one is holding the sword and the shield. Knight one whispers to knight two, I haven't seen a dragon, have you? Knight two says, no, the king told me they make the forest creatures flee. Looks like the forest creatures are running away from the knights. The deer is galloping away. The fox scurries off. Knight one says, well, the king confided their spikes are thick and double-sided. So over here, it's knight three, shines the candle. And it looks like there's a silhouette ahead. Is that the spiky back of the dragon? But all of a sudden, knight two trips. Whoa, so does knight three. They trip on the carrots. Oh, looks like knight one chops a carrot in half. Aha, ho, ho, says small knight three. A bed of carrots won't hurt me. Those were not spikes, those were bunny ears. So they continue. Oh man, wait, look, knight one's a bandage from the fall. <laughs> so knight two says, well, the king alleged their teeth aren't used for fruit and veg. Dragons probably don't eat fruit and veggies because they have sharp teeth to eat knights. Na, 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 na. Is that a dragon with sharp teeth? So, Knight Two raises his axe, but bonk! Oh my gosh, it hits Knight One and even cuts off the feather on his helmet. It's Knight Three gets closer. Aha, ho, ho, says Knight Three. Sleepy beaks don't bother me. Those were not teeth. Those were beaks from birds. The birds are sleeping except for the owl, right? Because the owl is awake at night. Oh, so they go along poor night one. He has a bandage. It's missing the feather. Night one says, well, the king declared their necks are long, their nostrils flared. <gasps> Na, 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 na. Is that a dragon with a long neck? <gasps> Are those the nostrils? So Knight 2 goes to chop the dragon. But Knight 2 chops the bridge. Knight 1 goes falling. Ah! So Knight 3, the candle lights up the scene. Ha ah, ho ho, says Knight 3. A roosting post can't rattle me. <gasps> Everyone's just sleeping. Except for the bats. The bats are awake at night. And looks like the squirrels are awake too. The bears are busy sleeping. That wasn't a neck. That was just another tree branch, right? Those weren't nostrils. Those were their ears. Hmm. Oh man, so they go, they see another silhouette, look at night one as a bandage, has no feather, has no sword, and also no shield. So 
And it looks like um, they're using the axe as the bridge. Knight two says, well, the king forewarned, their tails stab the dark like horns. Na, 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 na. Dragon tail? So, they're going to cross the bridge, but oh no, the axe snaps! <gasps> night one falls in the water. So night three shines the candle. Ha ha ho ho, says small night three. Those snoring sentries don't scare me. <gasps> that was not a tale. Like Vikings. <gasps> Look at their Viking ship filled with gold. Oh, so the nights continue. Now this time, oh my goodness, I didn't even notice before. Night two, somewhere along the way, also got a bandage on his nose. I think this was, I forgot to point it out, this was when he fell, when he chopped the bridge in half. And night two, also, his feather is all frazzled. I think this is also when he um, fell earlier. And now both of them are wet. Night one and night two are wet. Night one doesn't have the sword and shield. Night two doesn't have the axe. Just night three goes on with the candle. Night one says, well, the king did stress. They're flaming, frying, boiling, scalding, sizzling, smelly breath. So they've been walking, they've been exploring. All they see ahead of them is some rocks. They're frustrated, they're wet, they don't even have any weapons anymore. Night two says, dragons, no such thing. Let's go home and tell the king. So the candle goes out. They don't even have a candle anymore. Just as I thought, says small night three, there's nothing here to frighten me. There's no dragons. Dragons don't exist. The dragon's just in the king's head. Good night, good nights. Let's get to bed. They're done looking for the dragon. They run home. Wait, what's that? <gasps> the rocks seem to stand up. The dragon with the hot breath, the sharp teeth, the big nostrils, the spikes, the sharp tail. It's everything the king said. <gasps> so, the silly knights run off and say, there's no dragon taking wing. The king is safe. Long live the king. <gasps> Where's the king? Ah, standing on the light. The dragon's in his bed. Oh man, I hope you enjoyed this story. Such a fun one. There's so many things in the illustration you can spy, so please go back, look at it in detail. This is called Where is the Dragon? by Leo Timmers, and it was translated by James Brown. Such a great book. I hope you enjoyed reading along with me.